my hands were really shaky, my blood sugar dropped. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get the dog all the way done um, without it dropping too low. Good morning, everyone. This is Ryder. He is a, another apartment dog. He lives here at the apartment. And we're gonna get him cleaned up. They want about half taken off. So first things first is I'm gonna see how he does with the nails. What do you think, bud? His nails are pretty long. We're just gonna, it's okay. It's okay. Just trimming the excess off and then we'll use the Dremel and hopefully he's okay with that. What do you think? Are we gonna be okay with this? Okay, I know. Good boy, I know. You gotta stand up, bud. There you go, it's okay. Don't fall off. Good boy. Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. So the reason I use the Dremel is it gets closer to the quick and it helps recede that um, quick so they're not growing super long. I know. Hi, 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 buddy. Oh, sweet boy. We can't be doing that. Come here, come here. I'm gonna take this off. This is to help keep them on this side of the table, but he climbed over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly strip some of this coat off um, because doing so saves me time drying and saves water and product. I'm gonna say that's a good length. It's okay, bud. Good boy. This coat will fluff up after we bathe it, you know, wash it. Got some undercoat in there that we're gonna have to get out. Just a little bit. Yep, I'm just gonna have to bathe him, get him in the bath because that coat is very thick and there's a lot of undercoat in it. What we're gonna do, this is nice warm water. It's been heating for about 30 minutes now and it heats to 95 degrees so it's nice and warm. I'm gonna get him wet. It's okay. Just get him saturated with water. And that's also gonna add water down here into the trough. And then I'm gonna add some shampoo to it. So for my first wash, I'm gonna use this honey almond. I always do two washes. The first one is to get the majority of the dirt off. The second one is to do a hand scrub and make sure that all the dirt is off. You're okay, bud. It's okay. It's, hey, it's okay. It's pretty reactive. Um, I was told he I was told he doesn't like the dryer. So hopefully with the happy hoodie, we'll be at least okay with the dryer because I have to be able to get him dry to finish the haircut. We need to get all of that coat out, the undercoat out to be able to do his haircut. You're okay, bud. Come here, 
buddy. <laughs> so these baths like this are usually pretty quick. It doesn't take a lot of time to get the majority of that dirt off. Um, he does have a dock tail, so I'm not going to be able to do anal glands. Okay, we're going to turn that off and I'll show you. Humidity in here is pretty high. Uh oh, Pretty clean, pretty clean um, dog. Well, that's just gonna drain into my gray water tank. I'm gonna open these vents and get some fresh air in here. I'm gonna do a quick rinse on him. do a hand scrub. I'm going to add some water to this. is very dry um, so after I bathe him I'm going to use conditioner and show sheen you like the bath huh So for shampoo soap to be fully effective, you have to let it sit for a little bit. take my brush that I use in the bath. This brush is only used in the bath. It's 
my bath brush and I'm just going to brush through his coat real quick. It's okay. It's gonna kind of loosen up any undercoat that's in there. But it's also getting down to the skin and loosening any dead skin cells that maybe the other, you know, the bathing system did not get. Come here over here. Come here. You turn this. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. You turn this way. Turn this way. There you go. We did get some hair out, but that's not, it was not the main goal of that. I know, bud, I know. You gotta get your head though. I'm gonna use some tear-free shampoo up here on his head and get that real well. conditioner bath come over here you gotta turn buddy yeah there you go there you go good boy
Okay. Now, we gotta let all this drain out. And then we're gonna put a bunch of conditioner in, do a conditioner bath while I'm brushing all that undercoat out. And we will hopefully get him dry. some more undercoat. Just gonna fill this up. Do 10 ounces per, per conditioner bath. And I only do them if they absolutely need it because it does use quite a bit of conditioner, um, but it's definitely worth it for coat health for them. I do not use conditioner on every single dog anymore. Sometimes it makes, a lot of the times it makes dogs very oily looking and I don't like that. I like them to feel nice and clean, um, but this guy definitely needed some conditioner. Come over here, bud. So what I'm gonna do while I am using this is I'm going to first brush undercoat rake. And that's how I know there's quite a bit because it doesn't even want to come out. Yeah, it doesn't even want to come out. Even with the conditioner. So, I uh, Hope he does okay for the dryer because otherwise there's quite a bit of undercoat in there and it's just not wanting to come out. So just do quite a bit of conditioner bath. And the good thing about a conditioner bath is you can keep putting this on the dog and it really gives them a really great deep conditioning because it's recirculating that conditioner. And we've already cleaned the hair so the dog is not getting dirty again. So I'm gonna off drain and then rinse.
Nope, you gotta keep turning, buddy. There you go. Good boy. he does okay with the dryer when he has a happy hoodie on um, because I do have to get him 100% dry to be able to cut him otherwise the blade will not go through so I think what I'm gonna do is I've had to do this before is to double happy hoodie because I have a large a, a, a large one that will fit over the regular size one and it just adds more protection and it's not as tight as that other one so it's okay my ear protection he doesn't like the happy hoodie oh jeez. Come here, bud. This is gonna help you not be so scared. It's okay. It's okay. Come over here. Oh boy, let's see. See how this is gonna go.
of something we used to use these in shop and it only pulls two amps and so it's not too powerful so i'm going to try using this as i'm drying the dog and i think it will really speed up the drying time transfer him back to the table and we're gonna get his groom finished his head is a tiny bit damp still um, but it's okay I'm gonna take this off real quick come here bud it's okay his coat ha -ha, ch -ch -ch -ch, was definitely needing conditioner good boy good boy good boy good boy come here bud no we're not going over there no 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 
No, 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 sir. You're okay. It's okay. Good boy. Being such a good boy now. No, come here. We gotta come back over here. No, 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 sir. Here, okay, we can do that too. That'll work. Okay. Up, up, up. Good boy. Nope, you gotta come back over here, buddy.
Well, one thing I don't talk about on this channel most of the time is my health. Um, I don't know if anybody noticed it, but my hands are really shaky. My blood sugar dropped. I did not eat a decent sized breakfast this morning and that in combination with grooming a dog that requires a little bit more energy. My hands are still shaking. Um, I had to act um, because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get the dog all the way done um, without it dropping too low. And so I am supposed to eat on a regular basis and I had a rescue, what I call a rescue snack in here and it wasn't enough. Um, it was a granola bar and usually that does it, but that wasn't enough. So I turned the, turned the van off, turned everything off, left him in here, you know, on the floor like he is now. I went in, I got a snack. I didn't get a snack, I got a Pepsi um, because that's the quickest to bring your blood sugar up is a liquid. I drank half of it, which is 35 carbs and I am definitely feeling a lot better. Um, so as soon as I get him done, I'm gonna go eat lunch. So, um, I'm still a little shaky. But when I go somewhere, I always, always, always pack food because of this. And my doctors know about it and I just um, can feel it. I didn't even test because I don't have my test kit down here, but I can just feel it when it drops. Um, and I act quickly because thankfully I've never like passed out or anything, but I gotta stay on top of that. And it's not due to diabetes. Um, it's happened really my entire life is hypoglycemia and um, it sucks. Um, anytime I would play sports, I was drinking Gatorade, so it didn't drop. Um, and, but I didn't really realize it until I didn't have it. You know, a sugary drink. But that's why I cut the camera and then I cut the camera again um, because I'd start feeling really, it kind of feels like an anxiety attack, a panic attack is about to come on, but it's different because there's nothing to be anxious about right now. So I know it's not that. I know it's different from anxiety. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna have you over here. Dog safety is number one priority. So even though I was having problems, I made sure he was in a safe area before I left the van. Come here, buddy. I gotta, I know, I gotta have that so I can trim that. Okay, bud.
Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Stand up. Up. Sorry, bud. Up, 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 up. Come on. Okay, so I am going to go down shorter to do around here. I'm going to do a 5 8. And then you're just going to blend it. Come over here. You gotta turn, 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 turn. Good boy. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a seven. Still a little shaky. I pinched my finger. Come here, come here, come here. Come over here. Good boy. I'm gonna do the paw pads really quick. That hurt. I pinched it when I put it back on the metal. I would say this guy is like an Aussie Border Collie mix. And come over here. Turn, turn, turn. Good boy. Okay. It's okay, bud.
You gotta bend it. I'm just gonna take these and go down. And all that's gonna do is blend. There's just a little bit of lineage into this coat and that's gonna help blend that. Sorry, buddy. All right, so I'm gonna turn him this way. Turn, turn, turn. Good boy. So now I'm feeling back 100%. It does take a little bit for it to fully get into your system. Feel back to normal now. Note to self, eat a decent meal before a dog grooming. All right. So there's a little bit of bulk right here. So I'm just going to just takes that bulk right out so it lays nice and flat. Um, there's a bit of Thank you. 
And the two people here at the apartment complex that I would have called um, to bring me something were not here. So that's why I had to leave him. Okay. Oh, buddy, you look so much better. No, no, no. Sir, sir, sir. Hey, sir. Good boy. about your ear stand up 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 there you go So I'm trimming this because it just looks out of place with the rest of his head um, being trimmed. And because he's a mix, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's a mix. Um, it doesn't look 100% right with this being full fluff. Come here, sit. You're so cute. Good boy. Take some of that bulk out. Blend it a little bit. tends to get matted back there. So I wanna trim that pretty short so that does not happen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean up real quick. No, a lot of people like to see every see that's how I know I was getting kind of confused is because I put this in the wrong place I never put my blades in the wrong place. It was just I was feeling horrible And most of the time it happens pretty fast All right So now what I'm gonna do is kind of what I call nitpicking. Just kind of trim anywhere that I see is a little bit out of place. If I was not filming, this is when I would text the owner and say, hey, he's ready. this just a little bit better so it's not such a hard line
get those little scraggly we have assigned parking so my parking spot neighbors leaving up 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 I have got to get some different, I would love it if they had longer ones of the, if I had longer ones of these. I've had these for four years and they have done amazing. They've been sharpened many, many times. I'll put the link to them right here, but they have been amazing. They are left-handed though. I'm sure they make right-handed ones too, but I'm left-handed, so. Well, I think that's about as good as he's gonna get. I'm gonna get him a bandana. Oh, you guys, I feel so much better. I was feeling so bad. It's like a undescribable feeling. It's just like this impending doom feeling like an anxiety attack but I know it's not anxiety because I have anxiety and I know what that feels like and it's not that. I'm gonna vacuum this up real quick. I gotta take after pictures. I guess I'll show you guys how I take after pictures. I don't show it very often because I don't think it's very interesting, but you know, it is what it is. So I take this off, plug it goes on the charger so it can charge. And then all I'm gonna do now is kind of push all of this coat down. I picked out this bandana for him because he's black and white. It'll show up well. Won't it, you sweet boy? You're so handsome. And on his, in his notes, I will just put, hey, you know, um, does very well for the haircut, does not like around his head and neck to be dried, does not like his nails trimmed, but good for everything else. And I always take notes because it's gonna be at least probably eight weeks before I groom him again. And I won't remember because I've groomed so many dogs in that period of time that I just won't remember anymore. So next thing I do, I just get my camera and I take before pictures and I mean before and after pictures and video. <gasps> Hi sweet rider. Hi sweet boy. Yeah, I say this is after. Hi. What do you think, buddy? Oh. And this is after. Hey sweet boy. Good boy. Good boy. So I just take a little video because I plan to do a whole video of before and after little snippets. Hey, Ryder. Ryder. 
Hey, bud. Take lots and lots of pictures. Hey, buddy. <whistles> Ryder. Ryder. There he is. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. Ryder. Ryder, Ryder, Ryder. <gasps> yeah. Can we get a full body shot? Yeah. All right, and that's what I do. So hopefully you are subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. If you are subscribed, make sure you click the subscribed button down below and make sure that that all bell is hit. So you get notified if I go live, if I upload a video, if I post on the community wall, you'll get notified for anything I do. Make sure that that all bell is hit. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.